Hey everybody, this is Teamster. Uh, welcome to my channel. You know, I have many goals or uh, I don't want to call them resolutions or goals or I guess they're goals for 2021. Uh, one was I had this thought of, I've had this doll house for maybe, I don't know, I'll say 12, 15 years. Um, somebody gave it to me because I'm always the guy that'd be like, well, I'll take it. And so it was in much better shape when I originally got it. And it has all the furniture. Somehow it was outside for a while and it got rained on. Well, anyways, about two years ago, I thought I'd strip it, which it's sort of stripped, but not really yet. I took out the furniture that I saved and I've ziplocked all those in bags. Um, and then I had this idea last fall. I said, hey, in 2021, why don't I renovate it? And so, um, as you can see, it's pretty standard. I'm sure somebody built it in plywood. Um, there's really no face on it. I'm gonna add some stuff here. This was a little porch. It had a little fence around it with some porch furniture, bathroom, kitchen, bedroom, bedroom, and living room. And so, after I had the idea of renovating it, I was like, okay, um, What's your idea? What's gonna make it uniquely team? What's gonna make it? And um, so I still don't have an idea except this. You know, I love Paisley. Paisley, Paisley, Paisley. So I got this great Paisley paper at, I think Joanne's. Um, I guess that's really thick. Anyways, um, and then, <laughs> different paisley fabric. So my idea is, right now, we'll see what happens. My idea is to do it all in paisley. You know, instead of trying to do an one sort of architectural theme, shall I do it, you know, contemporary? Should I do it farmhouse? Should I do it whatever? I'm gonna do it in paisley. So, um, and maybe some original art, some things. Uh, you know, these things I had, uh, I guess I got them at Goodwill over the years. So that's like a door, a couple of different traditional doors. At first I thought they were kind of big for it, but everything, it's one twelfth. I think that's like the standard size, one inch to one foot. I've been on a few dollhouse websites. Um, so my first thing I'm gonna do today is I'm going to um, tackle the outside. So trying to do this, you know, I've already, you know, paper's expensive, especially if you get this really great paisley paper. In trying to, um, you know, keep the costs down, I am going to um, see what I have here. Try to incorporate uh, my paint and different things here. So I'm going to see what paint I have. So I can paint it. I then want to put some architectural features on here. So I'm going to start with the outside first um, and see what I can do to jazz it up, so to speak, and make it, um, you know, homey. So I'm going to start that today. And so I'll, I'm going to let you get on the journey. So I'm going to get some paint and different things, see what I have. Um, I know a lot of paint I had was dried out. So, you know, what I wanted to... My house is sort of a sage green, so I think I have some of that. So that was my original idea, so we'll see where we'll go from there. Okay. So as you can see, I'm giving it a coat of the sage green. This is the color of my house. Um, I had this full gallon. I don't know, I wish I had a better memory, but it, it's pretty old. So I had to stir it up quite a bit. Um, I still think the paint's okay, but it seems pretty thin along with, um, the wood being pretty dry. So it's taken a couple of coats, but, um, that's cool. So definitely this, how, you know, they didn't, they definitely had a back to it, which I'm going to make the front. So 
not necessarily I'm gonna have the doors open, but I'm gonna have certainly a door here and, um, you know, maybe some windows. And I don't know if I'll have the windows open or I'll just have them sort of faux windows. So, um, I'm gonna let this dry and I'm gonna go through my other paint to see what other colors I have. And yeah, it could be brighter. Okay. So as you can see, the green, sage green is looking pretty good. Um, I was just opening different acrylic paints, uh, which I have a lot of, as you can see right here. Um, kind of aiming for terracotta to make the previously shaped roof look more like a clay tile roof, more California inspired. I started off with a milk chocolate and then I painted a hot rod red <laughs> and then I painted a, uh, I never understand chalk paint or milk paint. I, I just don't understand it. Well, I have both of those in red and so, um, I always thought they were supposed to look weathered or old or I don't know, right? I don't know what the, I guess I should read how to do it. Anyways, it's bright red, as you can see. And um, I'm waiting for the green to dry because I really just wanted to do a, a tape around to make a clean thing. So, But I was more or less just, um, I'm going to walk around, just sort of testing colors. And um, trying to get a, a roof color that was fun. I mean, I don't mind the bright red, red and green. I mean, I do. I actually do like red and green together. Um, I think I'm going to tone it down with another color, but I don't know. I keep painting it red. So we'll see. Um, what I have to, what I really should do is um, stop painting and go through all my acrylics and really look what colors I have because I don't want to spend money on paint. So, you know, it's gonna be something I have. So that is what I should be doing. Um, and so I think maybe I could tone this down and maybe make it more terracotta. Um, it really is dry. You can just see it just soaking up the paint. And then of course the shakes are, you know, Hard to paint anyways, because there's these little crevices and stuff. Um, but you know, the great thing about, I'll tell you, the great thing about renovating the doll house as opposed to a regular house, um, <laughs> it's a lot smaller. <laughs> so, you know, you can paint a whole house in, you know, 20 minutes or paint a roof in another 20 minutes. So I like that. So I, even if I don't like this color, I can, um, you know, obviously repaint it. So, okay. So here's the dollhouse so far. As you can see, um, outside walls has that sage green, which is the same color as my house. The paint worked good, but I had to give it two coats. Um, the shake shingles, um, I'm going to tape this edge again, and I'm going to put some more red on here. I like it. Maybe it should be a little shiny, though. So, but I do like this sort of red, more of a red terracotta color. And then, um, well, you know, this is the door. that I'm gonna put here. So I haven't decided on the colors yet. And then really, I'm not gonna cut windows into it, but I'm just gonna maybe, I got these sticks. Um, you know, maybe just do some frames or some sort of architectural details along there. Sort of match these windows, which are in there. Um, now my trim on my house is a chocolate brown, which would look good color combination with this. So I don't know, 
I mean, my goal wasn't really to continue that, but um, we'll see. So that's so far where it's at. Hey guys, uh, Dollhouse. What part is this? Um, here's the dollhouse. As you can see, um, I painted it this sage green. So I have to do a few touch-ups. I really like the color. This side's also blank. Uh, the roof. Shake shingles. I took this, I don't know what color red it was, but it, I kind of like it. Sort of a terracotta color, maybe invoking clay tiles. Hmm. I'm going to paint this trim um, either dark chocolate or bittersweet chocolate, or maybe I'll mix them. And uh, then what I was going to thinking of doing, so, you know, um, these are things that I bought maybe years ago at Goodwill for like a buck, buck fifty, I see the prices on them. And, you know, they're super expensive, like $15 or something. So this, well, not this. Yeah, this is going to be the front door, and I have this framing to go around it. I'm actually not going to cut the hole, but I'm just going to make it a fake front door. Then I found these two things. You know what they say, shop shop at home first before you go shop somewhere? Um, so this is really cool, but I don't know. It's gonna give it a really modern take. I have to sort of see how I'm gonna work in these windows or how I'm gonna do it. Maybe I won't do the center thing. And then I had this idea I'm gonna put this board here to sort of break it up and then don't really have, I'm gonna cut a number of things here and kind of create, I call it a pergola, but I don't even know what it is. You know, in California, you kind of have this along here and you know, people would grow bougainvillea or stuff like that. Um, so I'm gonna work that out and the trim, Right now it's gonna be a like a dark brown and then maybe I was thinking the door would be like bright yellow. So that's my sort of things right at the moment. And then of course I'm gonna to have to touch up and stuff, but um, otherwise, you know, my positive, uh, yeah, you can show my whole face. <laughs> my positive, is because it's small, but you you know, I could paint a whole house in 20 minutes and I could paint the roof in uh, 15 minutes. So a couple of coats and things, you know, it, it's okay. Uh, so in that sense, you know, um, it's going good because you can just do a little bit and do a little bit, do a little bit. So my goal is just to do a little bit every day or every other day type of thing. Um, and like I said, I'm just trying to find things that maybe I've saved or find things of like, ooh, here's another use for that type of thing. I had found, let me see where they are. So on this side, there's this porch area, right? Oh, you can't see it. On this area, there's this porch area. And initially, the dollhouse had sort of this picket fence there. But I had bought, these were at the Goodwill. You know how they have that craft, I don't know what it is, craft party paper sort of uh, row um, aisle. And so they look like little, so I, I liked them. I'm not sure what they really are for. I liked them because they look like, um, what do you call these things? Uh, I was gonna say scaffold, but no. Um, you know, products come on them, boxes, and then they stack them, and people steal them, and they make, you know, I have one where I made, um, I put fabric in here, like a weed fabric type of thing, I put dirt in here, and then made, you know, uh, cactuses and succulents come out of it, and hung it on the wall, but, and I actually could do that, uh, my idea was to maybe, whether, you know, I don't know how I'm going to fit them, but to maybe either cut them in half 
and create sort of a, or keep it high so it's like really privacy. Hmm, maybe with a hot tub. Um, so it's really, I only have what, three, four, five of them. So kind of short. So that's why maybe cutting them in half might be the thing or maybe one side tall and the other side. So like I said, I just found these, um, I bought these just a short time ago just because I liked them um, with no idea to use them here. But in my idea of looking for like wood or things that I have that I can attach to the house and paint, um, I found these. And so I brought them out here. Strip it more with this wallpaper and stuff. And then I'm thinking give everything like a fresh primer coat or something, like a fresh start. Um, we'll see. Stay tuned for episode two. Thank you for always watching and listening. I'm up to 41 subscribers and I'm thrilled trying to get to 100. Take care. Bye. And remember, more is more.